<laughs> I'm an artist. And uh, with only one of the two packets, too. I find toaster strudels delicious, but one of the problems I've come across is that they come six to a box, which is actually just three, because I don't know about you guys, but I have to eat two at a time, and I think they come in, in value-sized boxes, but I always buy the six-pack because I don't want to eat toaster strudels every day of my life. Other delicious foods that we have been eating as a group, though, uh, this popcorn shrimp by CPAC. Very good. That's actually what we're cooking now. We also, the other day, we had uh, these cod fillets. Those are really good. Uh, I'm a fan of those. So if you are on a budget or in college, well, actually, if you're in college or on a budget, uh, if you're looking for something to make, those are really, really good. Uh, both the shrimp and the cod fillets if you're into seafood. Most of what I did today was test out recording Portal for the Let's Play I'm going to do on my other channel, Steven Plays, which currently has no videos because I haven't started yet. After running a bunch of tests and getting everything sorted out, I decided that I'm simply not going to be able to do it on the Mac side, which opens up a world of possibilities because people can be like, oh, we'll do this PC game, but I, I think it would still be good to start with Portal since it's relatively short. Fraps is the go-to software for screen recording, and Mac just doesn't have anything that can simply match it. Screening is pretty good, uh, but I am losing a ton of frames, and I know that I wouldn't lose them on Fraps. My computer can certainly handle it. I'm just going to have to boot into Windows, to record the Let's Play. I also took the advice of many of you guys and got the Painterly Pack for Minecraft, and it is beautiful. That's actually what Alex uses when he plays, and he's been bugging me about it, and you guys were bugging me about it, so I got it, and you're right. It looks much better. Speaking of uh, listening to what you guys said, I also read your comments from yesterday, and it sounds like uh, one of the biggest suggestions was barbecue sauce, and we have some. So at some point, we will use that, but for right now, we're having shrimp. And apparently it's ready. Anyone who's been watching the vlog for a while will know that we prepare food from boxes. We really don't do much from scratch. Or anything from scratch. The truth of the matter is that it's just easier. Uh, we're in college and convenience is nice because we got to spend time on studies. Or Minecraft. But, you know, either way you look at it, it's much more convenient to be able to go in here and say, Hey, I want cod. Hey, I want chicken sandwiches. And, you know get it from a box. From a price standpoint, it's a really great thing. We save a ton of money by shopping exams and getting stuff in boxes, but from a health standpoint, uh, from a nutritional standpoint, I'm sure that it's not the greatest thing in the world. But the way I see it, we are middle-class food citizens because we are buying boxed foods. Uh, above us would be preparing things from scratch. Below us, which is the very terrible alternative that we so often fall into, is fast food. I've talked to a lot of my friends from other colleges and I'm actually surprised at the amount of fast food they eat. Although it's not always fast food. Sometimes it's pizza. But, yeah, I don't know. Pizza only gets a little, little step above fast food. At least in my book. I know for a fact that we do not eat right. I mean, we eat pretty good. Pretty good. It's not, it's not so bad. But I know that we could do better. But in order to do better, it would take much more time and it would cost a lot more money. So I really don't have a problem with buying a, a box of popcorn shrimp and throwing it in the oven. So I want to hear about you guys and how you eat food, uh, especially if you're living on your own or you're in college and you are put in a position where maybe buying food like this is much more convenient. Uh, maybe I want to hear it just because it'll make me feel better, but it'll make me feel better. So let me know what you think of the food hierarchy scale with upper, middle, and lower class. Uh, tell me where you fall, where you strive to be, and what you think is a healthy balance. We live in the middle and take dips into the low from time to time, and when I go back home, I get to stay in the middle and take dips into the high. I think that's a pretty healthy balance. Let me know what you think. I'm going to find out what Alex thinks. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? What do you think? I don't know if he has a key. He probably doesn't have a key, so he's going to be knocking. What do you think? 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 What do you think?
What do you think?